Hello everybody, the Warrior Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 4 Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door HD Remake. Last time we mostly spent most of the episode just finding a bunch of star pieces around everywhere, all the different places, and uh, a couple badges, but not very much. But uh, yeah, now we're actually we actually started attempting to try and figure out right on how we can make it to Kial Kial Key, and we talked to a bunch of people and talked to, found out that we need to go and over here and talk to. Uh, Flavio, Flavio again, I, I feel like he'll say something different. Lucky Charm of family, I love you but sparkly thing. It's so fabulous, I wish to give it great big kisses and never leave my sight, never. Uh... Okay, now I guess I tried talking to him again. I guess now it works. And what do you want, huh? Who may you ask about? I'm call, called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Ro Roport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yes, why is, is it that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more, huh? What is missing from my life? This tears my, tears my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Uh, probably thrills? Those you say, oh, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There's nothing I like the feeling of being alone on the mountain, shivering to death. Ah, oh, no, fl foolish Flavio. Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, hold the horses. That is it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of, this, of the treasure of Cortes, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, it's just such happiness for me. Hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just streaks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. You not know the tale? The pirate's king, pirate king's treasure hid, hidden on key, all key. Uh, well, the tales say that the pirate king Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone in there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tickle. People have whispered that the ghost of Cortez attacks all those who seek the, this treasure. Eek! It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Key All Key. But I will not stop Flavio. The treasure is there, yes. I'm going to, to prove it. For I'm Flavio, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire of sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? Talk of a legendary treasure here beneath Rogue Port. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in the in this dull armpit of a town. You not be believing such each stupid rumor about treasures of street urchin spew, spews out. No, 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 no. Now what man comes bursting up from your mouth? You have a tre treasure map? Well, well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You're having a joke, having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Key All Key. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure from uh, from under me? You awful, awful man! Well, I am confused. You're looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. Now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be. Stop, stop, thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. Can I ignore what this business before me suggests? This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Key Hall Key. Of course, this crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine! Oh, you must repeat that! Flavio's ears are plugged! You have no ship? Ah, ha, 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 ha. You unfortunate foolish man! You don't know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious! Splendid, splendid, splendid! Let us begin its preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you will be captain! I dare you to venture tickle with my nostrils! Come to the harbor right away! This remix name is, looks sounds very Pirates of the Car Caribbean esque. And now we can go back to the harbor. All right now the ship is right here. Oh yeah, so it is you, uh. Well, sadly, slight problem. Problem seems to have pop up, popped up. But if feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship, she's a fine vessel, no? She's the SS Slavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. I'm on to you, to the, that guy to the right there. The raw majest majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare it to her. I'll behold the elegance of her with her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she's not just a beauty, she's a savage beast on the water, tops up among the sailboats. 
But above all, I'll tell you, this proud ship can... Ah yes, did you speak? Yes, it's, of course, the problem that it's, sprung, that it's sprung on. I completely forgot about it. The dust is fluffy and she, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. Well, we have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. No, now here's the real problem. The waters around Kiel Key are definitely dangerous. We need an absurd, absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is how you say a pickle. Uh, Oi, Flavio! Yeah, you're talking this, uh, you don't mind me saying it. I might have one solution. Don't tease me, Patch. You can't solve a problem. Spit it out already. Well, sir, I have to talk about the famed no, legendary sailor living in Roadport. Yeah, he, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman touch. It's, sir, he can make any ship flow to his mouth as well. Thing is, sir, he is so what so what's seen him on the seas of late. Bossa boom! Bur problem solved! Let's scout out this bobbery fellow and get him on board! As it's customary, my captain will handle all the negotiations. That will be you, Mario! That does sound fair to everyone, doesn't it? No complaints, aye, sir! Aye, aye, aye! Sounds fair, sir! I'm on board! Sure thing, good plan! That is, then it is decided! You must find this bobbery and bring him here! Our fortune sails with you! I'm on to you! Oh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm your acquaintance. Acquaintance. <laughs> I'm really on to you. Oh crap! Yeah. Like some damage, of course. Let's, we need to try to find out where this Admiral Bobbery person is. Okay, so we need to go to. I mean, I guess, uh, yeah, to the right here. And if we go over here, then we can actually go all the way right here. And we can go up here. I, I, I thought we couldn't do this, but I guess we could. So there is actually a couple of star pieces that I could have gone before when I was doing that, but think yeah, going down here we get another shine sprite uh, okay here we go yeah I'm just gonna have to get a couple extra things before trying to find Bobbery. Because there is a hidden star piece here. And there's another Shine Sprite here. And I think that's everything. We just have to roll up and fall down here. What do you blokes want? I think back here first. Yeah, there's another shine sprite. You see Ganbro Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search while elsewhere. Now away with you! Uh... Okay. Okay, so I guess what we can do is go over here to talk to... What's his name about the issue? Bobbery! That old sea dog lives just right at my house if you're facing the front. I say he was great, important sailor long ago. Okay. That didn't really help. So you have to go all the way back to where Flavio is and tell him that he won't budge. No, 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 no. 
He found someone who matches Bowery's description of the claims he's not him. Strange, I would ask someone who's knowledgeable about the neighborhood about this. So I think what next we have to do is go over to the inn. And then talk to this guy. And Robbery, yeah, yeah, I know him. You know the house just past the well wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both of you and AE would be better off if, if you just let him be. What? Do I actually have to talk to more people on the harbor about Bobbery for this to work? And we're Bobbery? Yeah, sure, that bloke used to practically li regularly live at the Podly pa Polly's Palace by the inn and uh, by the town square. Sometimes that lovely wife of his would swing by to pick him up. And we're Bobbery? I'm fairly sure he was the there was an old guy by the name of living in the east part of town. Now that you mentioned it, I've heard that bloke was a navigator like no other. Of course, I also heard that he was dead. The, the, that's the thing about rumors. What's true? Okay, hopefully I've talked to everyone that I need to. I think there was one person that I forgot to talk to. That's you. My friend went there today. Yeah, perfect to any such tale if you, I do say so. One might have been doing a whole journey blue in here and fair today. No sorry, Bob. Hey, oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave, leave port. Darbo Dome, Stop Porto, Giant Monster Blooper, I'm practicing my hose. At least my dream will come true. I'm glad. Gonna open my very own shop at Kyoki. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle. It'll be mine now. I'll have one side will worry. Kyoki is a deserted gear silent. You think I'll get much foot traffic? Might as well tell you. My brother, what's Kyoki never re returned. I get worried. He just thinking. Was he just thinking about it? And I just decided to work up my courage and sail there. I always dreamed of the day I'd leave this town, but I don't care if those their pirates, of course, what we're the vampires that we're going. It's gonna be gonna be world better than this, this stinkle. Maybe now something will be different. Come on! Maybe if I go back and talk to him? <laughs> I've been thinking this idea of what you're talking about, now if you please. Drop the X Super Stash! We already found out that you're the animal robbery! Well, Poppycock, tell me, what, what would you want with me if you were this chap? You say your ship needs this navigator and you want me to do the job? Hmm. So sorry, but if you'll have to look elsewhere, I should not set, uh, sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to set, see me back or something? Is that it? You have to come along, don't you? You can be, get us to safely to key call, key all key. Awfully sorry, dear, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. See, I guess that's all I had to do. I kind of wasted a couple minutes there. What's the deal? Move? Next move, Chief. This salty dude is going nowhere fast. Hmm. I can't figure this out. What's his beef with the ocean, anyway? Now, what we gotta do is go find someone who knows what the dude's deal is. 
So now the innkeeper guy should be able to tell us more stuff. So they probably won't go to see him. Well, I can't say that. It surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really want sure you want Bobby back on the water? Is that, that it? Now I see you want to meet my on an expedition to Kielgi. Rough seas out there. Most, most sailors wouldn't meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, the end where Bobbery's, Bobbery's tail is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but if you, I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. Is that, in that case, get ready. Bobbery's tail will get, go something like this. Robbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy, fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. With Bobbery, his eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell Ill, Ill. A virus p passing cold, no one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery had seen on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succ succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to, to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You'll know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Old letter. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what was written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, I'd give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, I tried to forget the pain as he mourned his wife. I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cow cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley. Thanks is done. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's start with, let's roll, Gonzales. All right, now we have a letter that we can take to Admiral Bobbery. So in here. What? Oh boy, Bobberton's Bobber Bobber beard! Not you again! No matter how many times you treat me, my stance is firm! Now away with you! Pardon a letter, you say, for me? What, Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love! My love, if you're reading this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, you ha I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I will beg that you remember that time. Life, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. A thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Yes, love, I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Key All Key. Yeah. Alright, if you think the old, the old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. And we're a bubbery, yes! The ship's in the harbor room. I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. All right, so now we got Bobbery to set sail with us. Okay, 
head back to the harbor and, uh... Guess we have a... Yo, who... Hi, Mario, how are you? I'm, I'm uh, good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here, but not the elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away like a place nobody has ever been? Wow, that'd be so fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever have the time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. Okay, so let's head back here. I knew you would begin Barbary on board, you wonderful mustache. Stash man, you! To you, I must say ahoy! I was wise to choose you as a captain! Ahoy to me as well! <laughs> Man, men have already loaded our cargo and supplies! Yes, for preparations are complete! <laughs> if you have no irons, we can depart at once! What do you say? Shall we set sail? Let's shove off! Only took me a few minutes to figure all this out! Very well, to the sea, race anchor and set sail for thrills and emotion! And romance and money! Our destination is Dread Keyhole Key! Wait up! So really, more proof that this like remastered soundtrack for this part of the game sounds very much like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> this is Exxon 1 here. I'm a dude, or pretty, Exxon 1 over here. Row of Roger, eating you 5 by 5 by Infiltration is successful. Exxon Black aboard vessel. R repeat, Exxon Black is on board the vessel. Yeah, I knew that guy, one guy was shady. But anyways, we are starting Chapter 5, The Key to Pirates! Monstar, Day XOR, over the front to burdens of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. This voyage is restless as they say, uh, um, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. But star day excess, another day of good wind. What clouds they dazzle me. It's as if they are blessing into our, our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. But star day ex music note. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly, smoothly for my comfort. At the speed will we should reach our destination decision by tomorrow's sunrise. The captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays, boom basa boom best of all! The Stash Brothers best of friends, three times red, Stash lands on his end! Blue Stash Valley four times is wrecked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom! It's a boom basa boom best of all! <laughs> yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did you not? Nothing to fear, no? The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is not trouble at all. There was I. There was locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. But even then, I smiled. For I knew I'd prevail. Great, he's started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's no order to escape, dude. We just have to listen until he's finished. If you interrupted my story, he absolutely losing it too. Uh, why is the what? What? What's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oh, and Master Flavio, awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story, but the ship stopped. Ah, stop! You say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it's our job to keep the ship moving. Yes, so take care of it. I see no issue with the ship itself, I, but I assure you that I'm not so rusty sailor that I wouldn't miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just give away the Goomba Stallman moment for your scallywags. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm looking over here. I said quit shoving. Arg!
They're here! What is this ruckus now? Who's here? Some, someone tell me what is going on! Ooh! Ooh! No, they're upon us! The pirate ghosts! All the rumors were true! Whoa, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! Do not panic yourselves! This is just a dream that we are all having a wake! Now quickly move the boat! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, go see you ooing thing! Are you really that savage pirate king? Aye, help me! Look up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Like, don't panic. Relax, relax, relax. I say. So we must take it easier. What? Wah! Bobbery, no! Excuse me. Listen, everyone. If we could form an orderly line without shoving, right after. This like see old scene is kind of different from the actual original. Hey, we must get out of here. Hey. A manage of every rich marvelous merchant for himself! Month star, day X star. Fortunately from disaster, from disaster, the kindly sea washed us ashore. With strange irony that this island, Kialki, was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost those three crew members, including Admir Admiral Bobbery. And it made me to think that they were taken by the Fire King. The ghostly thing! What happens to us now? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. But Star Day X, Star Heart, we have made a semblance of, of civilized life here. The ship's flaunt Sam Washington, and we now have salty bread and other salty, salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea. But then what I, I ask? But Star Day Circle Circle, we have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. A poor sweet as is Flavian. At least the short short shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no sign of Barbary and the others, but in my heart she doubts. So just despite, despite my fears, we must continue my hope that they are alive somewhere. What star day circle X? Three three days on the aisle now. The huts all are all finished. We have carved our life out here, though we all dream of return to Royal Port. Key Hall Key. Oh, a Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a wee up for you to rest in. Come have a look! Okay, so we are here now at Key Hall Key, and... I'm not sure if they would hide any kind of... Star piece somewhere... Oh yeah, we can hit this guy's head, and Waku direct hit. We got a Waka bump, so I'm definitely gonna at some point come back and grind grind those later, because they're very useful. <laughs> Captain, please help us prepare our huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned into jelly when you all saw all, the, all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in its booth. Fancy pants. Wait, one more moment. Did you just call me great Flavio Fancy Pants? Oh, that's right, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants. Fancy pants. Why are you little Cyclops? Flavio demands that discussion. New me hammers are at dawn. Oh, that's right, that's right. Fine by me. I gotta wait to get a, put a few dents in those fancy threads. They're here! <laughs> Captain says some ghosts are back! Mario from front and center! This is an order! Take care of those ghosts! I guess we have no choice but to get into a fight. Okay, here we go. So, let's, uh... 
I assume we can... Power smash one of them? Haha, <laughs> one of them got hit. I'm not sure if golf will even work on these fire enemies. Yeah, they will. Oh, I guarded it. Oh, of course. Let's super hammer this! Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get burned after we do this. Yeah, we will. Oh, I think that missed. Yeah, I assume let's try to... Uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure... Vivian can probably do something. Or not. Does we have the normal hammer? There we go. Yes, you're a blooming, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate. No, there are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that, what, that's what it must be. So the leader of the ex ex expedition, I, of course, we should stay here on this. I broke no argument. Uh, yes, of course, Mario, perhaps you could handle this explanation of this island. Can't you? That is my boy. I knew you would go for with boldness. We count on you upon you. But we are gonna do that in the next part, guys. So... If you like this part, be sure to, to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about, about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more about my Let's Play 4. Paper Mario with the Thousand Year Door HD Remake. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.